Hello everyone, your favorite rational robot here, R4R. Welcome to my channel. Today's reason, polytheism and the trinity. Christianity was born from a strictly monotheistic religion, Judaism, a faith that itself evolved from a polytheistic model, considering their god to be one of many, one of the Ten Commandments is to have no other gods before Yahweh, implying the existence of others, to a doctrine claiming their god to be the only one in existence. The belief in a single god is considered by religious historians to be an important maturation in sectarian theology. A few decades after Jesus died, Christianity ran into a problem. The Apostle Paul as well as the Gospel of John made Jesus into a God himself and left congregants with the impression that there were two gods, the Father and the Son. Thus, Christianity was beginning to lose the mantle of being monotheistic and thereby risking the denigration of being compared to the polytheistic pagan religions. The solution to a problem often creates an even bigger problem and that, can be argued, is just what happened. Straining to find or create scripture to support a synthesis of the gods into a single entity, the idea of the Trinity was born. Because the scriptures clearly define Jesus and the Father as being separate beings, both in the image of human males, a glue was needed to fuse them into a single consciousness. Thus, the Holy Spirit was invented. If you ask a hundred Christians to define the Holy Spirit, you'll get a hundred answers because the scriptures provide no description. All Christians could do was to point to one scripture that hinted at this third divine being, Matthew 28:19, with Jesus saying, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is likely that this scripture was a later edit and was not part of the original text. There is a further mention of the Holy Spirit in Paul's letter to the Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 13, 14. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <laughs> However, this provides little evidence that Jesus ever preached this theology. How could one-third of God be left out of the Old Testament and be so thinly mentioned in the New Testament? So Christianity, in struggling to regain the respect of being monotheistic, actually became more polytheistic, going from two to three gods, and then mystifyingly trying to say that they were all the same being. This didn't have to happen as there was no need for Christianity to make Jesus into a god. It was a fatal mistake to do so and Christianity is paying for it today with the baffling and confounding idea that three gods are one. <laughs> More reasons for a reason to come, so keep watching and remember to please like and subscribe. Peace.